Create Studio 3 allows you to rotate a character so that it is animated from any angle. In this tutorial, we will explore the view rotation and a new animation called Character View to change the direction a character is facing during its walking action. Keep watching, and Randy and Patrick will show you how. This is Randy and Patrick with a Create Studio 3 tutorial. Create Studio 3 is out, and it has some truly great functionality. One is the ability to rotate your character 360 degrees. Let's use this new feature to have Tom walking toward the camera. Drag Tom onto the timeline and change his action to walking. The default walking direction is to the left, so we need to spin Tom around so that he's walking toward the camera. Move the playhead somewhere in the middle of the animation and click the rotate button that you see above the Tom character. Tip! You can tell you are in rotate mode when the purple edges around your character is straight without these edge markers. With your mouse, spin Tom around until he is facing the camera. Now when I scrub the playhead, you can see Tom is facing forward during his walk. But wait, Randy. Tom is now looking to the right before and after his walk. I don't think that is what we want. You are right, Patrick. Soon I will show how to use the character view animation to fix that. But before we do that, let's animate Tom's walking motion as he gets closer to the camera. Move the playhead and find the spot where Tom starts walking and click on Add Animation above the timeline. Select both position and scale. Scale is an important property because as Tom gets closer to the camera, he needs to appear larger. Next, find the time where Tom transitions from walking to spinning around by advancing your playhead. Move the last keyframe, that's that second diamond, to where the playhead is. Exit Rotate View and increase the size of Tom and position him a bit lower on the canvas. Since this is a walking action, we need to change the easing to linear. Mouse click between the two keyframes to display the animations panel and select linear easing. As I scrub through that, it looks good. Okay, let's fix Tom so he remains facing forward before and after his walk. Move the playhead to the start of the clip and click on add animation above the timeline. Select Character View. Make sure your character is in rotate mode and spin the character so it is facing forward. Scrub through that to see if any adjustments are needed. One adjustment I will make is to change easing to linear. To fix Tom at the end, click on the last keyframe. Click on Add Animation. Click on Character View, which will add a new keyframe, and click on that new keyframe and again spin the character so it is facing forward. This animation can be used anytime you want your character to face a different direction and it appears so naturally. What a cool feature in Create Studio 3. As a bonus, let's make Tom walk around in various directions. Again, I will start with a default walking action. To remove the spinning action altogether, click on the Action Title button and toggle on Disable Start and Disable In. Position and size Tom where you want him to start his walk. Click on Add Animation and select Position, Scale, and Character View. Click on Easing and Change to Linear. Depending on the distance you want Tom to walk, move the end keyframe to change the duration. Move Tom to his next position and adjust scale and character view. Next, I want Tom to make a swift change of direction and start walking the other way. This time, add a character view animation only. Advance the playhead 10 frames and move the end keyframe to the playhead. Rotate Tom to face the other direction. Now, add another animation and select position and scale. Again, change the duration of the walking action by changing the distance between the two keyframes. 
Position Tom and scale him up or down depending on where he ends in the background you selected. There you go. That is how you can have your character walk in any direction you desire. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.